How's it going, everyone? I've been getting a lot of comments lately about um, the method that I teach how to scrape Facebook no longer working. Um, I just wanted to make this update video showing that there is a method to get this to work. It's just a slight change in how we set up the queries to begin with, um, the queries that we use to put into Scrapebox. But you'll see right away that this is actually a more effective way to maximize the results. So let's just jump right into it. So this method is based off of using the uh, Facebook pages categories. So for every type of business on Facebook, you have to give it a page category. So for our example, we'll just use advertising agency. If you go to this page, facebook.com slash pages slash category, you can see right here that it gives it, um, it gives it this slug, pages, category, advertising agency. And if you click into any of them, well, let's do this. Let's copy his page name. I'll go back here and then I'll leave all that and I'll just add his business at the end. And you can see that they all have this and then the business name. So with this knowledge, we can build queries to um, scrape advertising agencies in specific cities. So let's just jump over to my sheet and um, this actual sheet, along with a bunch of other ones set up to scrape the major social sites, is available to purchase. Uh, it's only $15. Uh, so if you want that, I'll leave a link in the description. But this sheet just helps you build the queries really quick. So um, this is that part I was telling you about, facebook.com slash pages slash category. This is where you would put the category that you want to scrape. Don't touch this. And this is a list of cities in the United States. Again, just trying to maximize how many results we can actually scrape. And this is just finishing up the search operator. And at the end, this is what we get. And it's just a long list of all the operators we can use. And then I'll actually include this with the, uh, the, the templates to build queries. But this is um, a list of all those Facebook categories shown here. Sorry, not here. Shown here, but I put it into an Excel sheet so you can quickly grab um, the slug of whatever category you want to well, you want to scrape. So, I said we're going to use advertising marketing. So we're going to copy this, take it back over here, replace this. Of course, it's not working. Copy this again. There we go. And just for the sake of this example, I always know that Los Angeles is a city that will give us a lot of results. So we'll choose that one. We're going to copy this. And we're going to put this in Scrapebox. So you open up Scrapebox real quick. So we copy our search operator, we paste it in the scrape box, we make sure our proxies are set up. I highly recommend Scraper API, absolute best one hands down. Then we'll just click start harvesting. Proxies are enabled, this is what we want. And then just click start. Now I'll pause the video and once this is done I'll come back. So as, as you can see, it's all finished up. It gave us 303 results. We're gonna click go back, close. And then once we have this list, we wanna remove duplicates. So go to remove filter, remove duplicate URLs, remove four. Now to grab the email from this page, we're gonna click grab check, grab emails by crawling sites, use harvester URLs, make sure that's checked. Make sure this is set to one because we only want to scrape the URL that we're giving it. And then let's start. As you can see, that only netted us six emails, which honestly is pretty surprising. But I mean, that is what it is. So, and there you can see that all the emails I did grab. And I kind of just want to do a little bit of due diligence myself and see. Uh, 
if it may, maybe missed something. So we're gonna actually open up another notepad. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Close. I'm gonna export my list to the keyboard. I'm sorry, to the clipboard. Then I'll paste it. And I just wanna check for myself if indeed there's only 60 mils. So I'll just click through these real quick. I said turning that Gmail to grab it. It did not. I have an idea, I know what's wrong. So let's do this. We're gonna copy all of our URLs. We're gonna open up Excel. We're gonna paste them in. And then we're gonna add about here. And then we're gonna set up a little formula. So equals, we're gonna select this top cell. We're gonna click or type in. Then we're gonna select the cell with the with about written in it. And then our keyboard press F4 to lock this cell. Please excuse my alarm. And all this is gonna do is as we drag this down, it's gonna lock this about to the end of every cell as we drag down. So once we have this, double click here to send it down. And now you can see that we have all of our URLs with about at the end. So copy those, go back to scrape box. We're gonna clear this list out. We're going to import URL list. From clipboard, paste, replace. So all we did, we just added about to the end of that URL that Scrapebox generated us. Now I have a feeling that was the issue. So we're gonna do grab check again. Grab emails by calling sites. Use harvest URLs is checked, depth is one. And let's start this and see if the results are a little better. And there you go, that seems to have solved the issue. <laughs> so anybody that was telling me it's no longer working, now I kind of see. Um, I actually use my own custom scraper now, uh, just because my custom scraper grabs a lot more information than just an email, it grabs. Well, I'll, I'll show you real quick. But now I understand why people are saying this didn't work. And now there's a solution. You have to add about at the end of the URL. But let this finish up. And there it is, now we have 44 emails. And there you go. This was that one we checked earlier. There it is right there, and now captured it. And I was mentioning that I do have my own custom scraper and that's why I didn't realize that the way I was teaching was not returning results. Uh, Cause I stopped using Scrapebox to actually pull the email from the Facebook page. I use Scrapebox to generate the list of URLs, but then once I have that, I put it into my own custom scraper, and I'll show you how that data looks. Uh, let's see, this is just a sample, and this is a completely different industry. These are restaurants, but this is what my custom scraper is grabbing. So I was grabbing the business name. As you can see, there's still a little bit of stuff issues that need to be worked out, but grabs a page URL, the phone number, the average review score, the email address, the website, the city, the state, the zip code, um, the actual number address, the messenger link, the about us, the page category, Let's scroll this down, the date the page was created, the total likes, total follows and check-ins. So this is actually something I'm gonna be putting up for sale. If you would like this Facebook scraper, um, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase it. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll price it out at yet, but it probably will be a monthly charge, maybe 30 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month, I'm not sure. But if this is something you're interested in, actually I'll, I won't put a link yet. If, if you're interested in that Facebook scraper, 
uh, just leave a comment that yes, you're interested. And then if I get enough people t tell me that this is something they want, I'll put it up for sale. So anyways, I hope this clears up the issue of you know not being able to get a URL. I'm sorry, an email from Facebook. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.